Hey there, Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your July 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, for the month of July, I'm doing things a little bit um, differently, wherein I'm just using three cards of tarot to give us the overall energy of what might be influencing us um, throughout the month. And it's it's basically the same for Lenormand and my cardamancy deck so just so we know how to navigate the month what are the major influences that might be really happening for us as a whole so um yeah it's going to be a very quick and concise reading so just so that you know it's going to be helpful for you guys going straight to the point on what might be manifesting and occurring so again um this is very similar to um the recast method that i usually do for my other clients just so we know exactly what's gonna be happening again still this is a general reading so please keep in mind that this may or may not entirely occur and happen or resonate to each and every tourist out there so um yeah without any further ado let's get on with the reading okay so we have here the five of swords as the first card showing up here which give us you know um a feeling we're in maybe things were not very welcoming or not exactly a very happy moment it could be that maybe you are feeling stressed out or there are regrets there are th some things that you want to fix and sort out there is a possibility that you know tears may have flown um, in the recent past or you are in a situation wherein you know you're feeling disheartened by other people maybe to what they have done to you or what they have not done to you vice versa there is some form of dis dissatisfaction and maybe you are at the point of your life wherein you are prepared or you are wanting to change this you know regardless of what situation you are in right now you are wanting to change the scenario maybe you want to leave that behind or you know venture to a new path because we do have the full card next to it which is all about new beginnings new ventures in life all those kinds of things um or maybe a, a point of taking a leap take a leap of faith into something which has a lot to do with your beliefs and conclusions it really ha it is very much highly dependent on what has happened to you in the recent past basically but with the full card we are seeing here that you know something is sh changing and shifting all at the same time we do have the chariot card here giving us a signal that you know if you have been stuck in the past or stuck in a situation wherein you're not able to move forward with before this is the time we're in you know maybe you are going to be taking action and moving forward and moving on you know it could be something that is happening to you in a very personal level it could also be in, in your career you know maybe you're wanting to change business or change a store location or you know change a contract with someone those kinds of things it's also of course um in a love reading it could be a situation wherein you don't want to be in that kind of relationship anymore in that kind of situation wherein you are treated very unfairly you want things to be better those kinds of things so it is highly possible that you know this is something that has been happening to you recently or it is within the month of july wherein you know you you make that decision of things needs to change we need to take that reset button or maybe this is the time for me to you know move on and go somewhere else venture on another new plane that kind of thing however i don't want you guys to think that this is a break of reading because it's not this is just telling us that you know there is some form of progressive movement that is going to be happening for you personally in terms of your love life and relationships you know 
there is going to be a step forward you know you are going to be feeling the shift there is not a stagnant phase now you know the past few months we have been in this roller coaster emotional um synergy i would i would say we're in we are feeling a lot we are maybe engaging with people but it does not really lead anywhere you know it might feel good in the moment but it does not feel very much in tune with reality and this is the time we're in you know we you are starting to really see things on a clear level to where you are really heading in life to where your relationship is heading as a whole so yeah needless to say that i do really see that there could be some form of um feeling um bogged down and having some form of heavy feelings in terms of your emotions this could be a situation wherein you know um it's not entirely a situation wherein things are easy it could be a situation wherein you need to make some effort work hard work might be needed to to fulfill a contract to to work around with a relationship or even to communicate with someone we do have the letter card over here and the ship card over here so it could be communication from foreign lands to someone from afar or especially we have here the star as well which is all about networks internet all those kinds of things from faraway places so we have here the dog which is all about the friend or the companion card so news from a companion um, if they are from a foreign land maybe you are having a hard time to really communicate with them to talk to them in, in a very proper manner and we have the tree card which is signifying the foundation of the relationship all those kinds of things so it's not necessarily telling us that the relationship is falling apart this it's just telling us that you know it's just going to be harder to connect with them it is not easy it's not very whimsical you know we're dealing with re real real stuff now there is hard work that needs to be done in the relationship i would say that there is going to be you know communication consistently and it's like um I need to make the effort to make this relationship work and you need to make the effort all at the same time so if one person is not willing to to do the hard work to to make the relationship more um, sustainable then that can create some form of problem that you guys might need to fix the key word here is that um, the give and take needs to be balanced all those kinds of things so communication with your partner or with a particular person needs to be very consistent and if that is lacking then this m might be a situation wherein you guys might need to talk things out to really communicate what you guys want as a whole for this relationship or if you still need the relationship at all we have here the seven of clubs um telling us that you know some form of effort and changing of a situation might be happening in terms of a relationship but it's basically leading to a very positive outcome at one point in time it's just that it's going to be hard work basically the the key here is that the, the key energy that i'm picking up over in this reading is that something is changing some form of effort needs to be done you know it yes there is hard work and it does not mean that everything is going to be happy and easy there is hard work so you might feel the opposition you might feel that you know you need to work extra hard to make something work out um this is not about just feeling good this is about you know really about someone who is actually doing something 
to make effort in the relationship so that is going to be a very big deal for you guys especially and with the activation of your 11th house over here with virgo and pluto um this is something going to be very powerful in terms of your communication and connection with other people your communication in terms of you know your other networks acquaintances can be also um a applicable here and with your 11th house you know this is has a lot to do with your goals your dreams of what you really want what you envision in terms of your relationships so um yeah this is about you you know you have planted the seeds of what you want there is like a goal that you already have in terms of your relationships of what you want to feel what kind of relationship that you want and this is the time we're in you need to give an answer to yourself and to the other person on is this really gonna work out or not are are we really making an effort um to make a relationship happen or not so um yeah there is going to be you know fated occurrence in terms of your relationships some form of not very easy happening with with relationships but definitely this is a point we're in you know it's it's basically a time we're in you need to stop getting in your head and you need to really take action if someone is you know disregarding the things that you're saying because you're just saying it and not really taking action it's like you know you're 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 it's like having an argument with someone and you're telling them that you are going to get mad and you keep saying that you are going to get mad at them but you're not exactly mad at them so basically what's happening here is that they need to feel that you are going to do what you said you would do then a progress might happen you know some form of solution can occur with that as a result i'm not ex telling you that that's going to be the scenario but it's just the idea of the energy in place since it's, it's quite a bit hard to you know explain the energy involved here but um yeah so if you want some form of progress to happen in your life and, and into your relationship you need to make effort you, you, it's not just about blind faith waiting for things to happen you also need to take action yes luck is going to be there for you there is some form of movement in your karma and your fortune that will give you an, an opportunity to put things forward out there but you need to take the action you need to make some form of initiative to make sure that you're doing your part of the story and the other person is doing their part as well so um yeah this is my reading for you guys taurus it's very a uh, quick and concise reading to help you navigate the month of july and i hope that this gives you insight and clarity to your personal life as a whole um and yeah before i forget i did pull in some oracle cards and we do have here the the energy work and the law of attraction so um, this is, you know, very much self-explanatory that, you know, maybe you are getting influenced by the energy around you. So always, you know, try to protect yourself, um, do a lot of meditation and cleanse and you just keep in the positive thoughts. Because with, with the cross over here, it's very easy for you to be disheartened, especially it's, you know, with the heart card. It's very easy for you to get depressed especially when things are not working out so you you need to keep a very positive mindset and to you know to believe to the things that you want to achieve because again if you do not believe in yourself then who will right so um yeah this is my reading for you guys and i do hope that i'll see you guys again <laughs> on my next video next month and if you do want to purchase a reading with me um you can do that through my website in the stars by chrissy.com and i shall see you guys again next month